From your local election headquarters, here's Fred Childers with This Week in Louisiana Politics. Good morning, everyone. I'm Fred Childers. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Thanks for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Politics on your local election headquarters. Well, it's official. Louisiana lawmakers will be coming back to Baton Rouge this week in an attempt to overturn some of the governor's vetoes. Governor John Bell Edwards vetoed 28 bills, all of which could be considered during a veto override session. Now, the three anti-LGBTQ bills are the main driver for some conservatives pushing for this session. The rare session does come with a challenge and if political risk and a political risk if they don't gather enough votes to overturn a veto. Look, a two thirds vote in both chambers is much easier said than done. And lawmakers know, these lawmakers know what it's like to call a session for a veto override to spend taxpayer money on it and to not get the votes. That's incredibly embarrassing to do. It's almost a death knell in a re-election year. So I think you're going to see lawmakers vote on overrides that they can deliver on. Yeah, some of them have experienced that. Republicans recently obtained a supermajority in the House of Representatives, which could make it easier to take up more bills during the special session. The session can only last five days and it's starting on Tuesday. East Baton